Hey, welcome back to show you more, it's plenty. Today's video is sponsored by Robot Timmy. Let's go. Hey, babe. Hey, what's up? Hey, can you put the towels in the washing machine, please? Uh, yeah, I can put them in there. All right, awesome. Thank you. Yep. I'm gonna put them in there as soon as I'm done playing this game. Thanks. I thought I told you to put the towels in the machine. What are you doing? Um, I'm playing this game, but I'm going to do it. All right, I'm going to do it right now. now. All right, I'm going to do it right now. What's up, y'all? CKID here, man. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you all some of my favorite personal features that I've been using with Timmy. Now, since you guys just saw that intro, man, we can go ahead and start with the FaceTime feature. Now, this is a feature, guys, where using the app will allow you guys to dial right into Timmy and pretty much have it roam around your house, do video calls with your family and different things like that. Now, we're using the app. This app is available on iOS as well as Android, as you guys can see right here. You can also give permission to someone to call into your robot without the need for someone to actually have to manually answer it or pick up the call on the other end. So, like, for example, let's say I would obviously want to set up access for my wife to be able to connect right into Timmy without the need for me to having to answer or anything like that. So to ask someone as an owner to your robot, all you guys got to do is just go into the app of the owner's phone, tap contacts, select your personal robot from the list, then click on invite new members and select the people that you guys would like to add to the call right into your robot without the need for someone to have to actually manually accept the call. Now, obviously y'all, you will wanna reserve this for somebody like close family members or really, really close friends that you like. And I mean, really close friends that you like because they don't have to actually need someone to pick up on the other end. They can literally press the button right from the phone and it will automatically pop open the camera and be able to see your entire space. So you definitely want to reserve this for somebody as a feature uh, to somebody that you really, really trust. So for me, I only reserve this feature for my wife and I because, you know, I just don't want anybody to be able to just pop in whenever they feel like it. So to my parents and my in-laws, it just is what it is. <laughs> but let's go ahead and say you have someone who doesn't actually have one, but you still want them to be able to call your robot. But with their access, it would actually require you to actually answer it like a regular phone call because, because you don't just want anybody to be able to just access your robot unless you give them that type of permission that I just actually showed you guys. So just like a regular phone call, if you want to be able to talk to them or if you want to ignore them, you can do that just like this. All right, so the next feature, which I think is something that we're starting to see a lot within upcoming technology is multiple AI assistants that are built in. Now, we first saw this with Sonos One with the Google Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa built in on it. So with Timmy, you get Amazon Alexa and Timmy, which is their own custom built assistant that works pretty good, I have to say so myself. Now, with them adding Amazon Alexa, it just literally pretty much opened up the door to an infinite number of functions that this robot can do, like you all saw in my previous video where I was able to even order a piece or I was able to turn on and off the lights and different things like that. I can order a lift. There's just a bunch of different things that you can do with it. And the Alexa and Amazon developers are always creating just super, super dope stuff with it. So the fact that you can get access to that same library of cool developer options uh, it's just super dope. Now, one thing I will say that I like about using Timmy as far as the AI assistant on here is that it has more of a natural voice than other AI software. All right, so the next feature is perfect for me because now since that I've been traveling a lot for my channel here as I have an upcoming trip coming to New York here pretty soon, then to LA, and then there's a company I'm gonna be working with out there, then I'm back to New York. So there's a lot of traveling for me coming up here pretty soon, which I'm actually grateful for, but sometimes I might wanna just call in and check on my wife, man, and my dog just to make sure that they're safe. Now, it allows me to be able to do that with using this same feature now uh, where I can call my wife or whatever and she can see me right here on this 10.1 inch display, which makes it seem like I'm right there in the room watching a movie with her or just hanging out at home with my dog or whatever. So to me, this is a super dope feature that I rock with heavy because it's perfect for the person like me who is an on the go type person. Now, news is another feature for if you're waking up in the morning or you're just getting home for work and you want that briefing of news, you can ask for that as well right on here and get updates to sporting events you know shout out to my packers out there 
All right, so another dope feature that I like, man, that I told you guys about, which this robot just has a ton of dope features, is the personal DJ feature. Now, right now, it can currently only play music from iHeart Music or Amazon Music, but in the near future, guys, they are working on the ability for Bluetooth in right into your phone, so that way you can have access to Spotify or Apple Music libraries as well while using the wireless charger on the back of this. Now, this personal DJ mode is best for me when it's used in follow mode because you can just tap the head of the robot it follows you instantly tracks you and then just like that you can walk around the entire house listening to whatever content you want to listen to on these dope hi-fi speakers and so and I'm gonna tell y'all right now the sound quality is just super crystal clear on these powerful speakers man and then with the subwoofer located right here at the base of it I mean you just can't beat it and then the even better with it having access to YouTube I can actually listen to my favorite shows or listen to some of my favorite creators out there that I watch on the platform while also getting ready in the morning so to me man this is a definite feature that I like man and I'm so glad that they've added YouTube on here because it just makes this even more valuable when it comes to having this within your home now one thing when I talk with them guys they are working on an app store that is currently not on this robot right here but this is basically where it's going to store a library of things that developers have created for Robot Timmy that you would basically be able to use. So think of it as like the App Store if you're on iOS or Google Play if you're on Android. Now, Timmy App Store, man, is still in development, but they did assure me that this is top priority for them, man. So I can imagine we can see a crazy amount of cool things that this robot is gonna be able to do. And to me, that's a testimony to what this robot can do because basically, you know, if if let's say there's a new feature that they want, they can simply just go in through software updates and just push these. So I can imagine we can see some dope stuff like some games, learning to speak different languages and just a cool whole library of different stuff. Right, so the next one here, man, is called a personal photographer. Now this is one that I'm personally excited for solely for the purpose of my wife because she no longer has to ask me, hey, can you take a picture of me real quick? Now, instead of her asking me for that, she can now ask Timmy that and put all of that on Timmy instead of doing it for me. And then she can save it right to her phone, right into her photos app and post it directly on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or any of her other social media platforms that she has. Now I also like using this feature as well, man, because I can do things like say, hey Timmy, take a video or whatever. And it can instantly turn that camera and begin recording me doing whatever I wanted to do and save it right into the app on my photos. Now. Now this is something that as far as a product that I like to show off because I can do live recordings of products and have Timmy actually follow me around to showcase off to you guys. So to me, that is such a dope feature that I can get right inside of Timmy that I don't have to ask anybody to do for me. But like always, y'all want to hear from you all out there. Out of all of these features that I just told y'all, what is the one thing that you guys like as your favorite feature and how would you personally use it? Go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys want to check out my other fun videos that I did on Timmy, just go ahead and click on right on over there, man, and go check those out. And uh, I'll see y'all over there. Peace. First met them at CES, they was cool people now. I saw this robot, we locked eyes like our souls equal uh -huh. Peaceful, this huge screen is what my heart admired okay. Couple conversations after Timmy was acquired So here we are